What's up guys, it's your girl, Nicole Young. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome. I am so excited you're here because in today's video, we are going to talk all about ChatGPT. If you're anything like me, when ChatGPT was launched, you're probably looking around like, what is this? What am I supposed to do with this? And where do I get started? I know that especially in this community, there are a lot of us trying to break into tech or build thriving careers in this industry. It can be overwhelming and extremely intimidating to get started with a lot of these things. But it is still super important to make sure that we are learning how to integrate these new technologies into what we are doing to make sure that we keep a competitive edge and don't get left behind in the tech industry because it just continues to move forward. So in today's video, we're going to talk about a few tips that you can use to set a foundation to get started in using ChatGPT if you haven't already. Right now is an extremely important time in the lifespan of ChatGPT because I do believe it's going to become an integral part of all of the technology that we use moving forward. What I predict will happen is that just like the internet did, we will see a rise in adoption in AI language apps like ChatGPT. There's a lot of hype around it right now, and that's going to continue to rise, but eventually it will reach a point where that hype dies down. But the amount of people who have integrated it into their regular life will continue to grow and expand. All of the people who learned how to integrate it and use it efficiently, where their standard of output in their work is going to be much higher than what you're able to accomplish without the assistance of ChatGPT. If you follow me on Instagram, you might also have seen me doing the 30 day glow up with ChatGPT challenge, which is just a fun way of learning how to use ChatGPT in different practical ways in our everyday life. But enough of that, let's get right into these five tips that I have for you beginners. The number one thing to know about ChatGPT is that it is all about prompting. If you understand and know how to effectively prompt ChatGPT, there's literally nothing that you won't be able to do with it. Everything with ChatGPT basically starts and ends with a good prompt. The best way to learn how to prompt ChatGPT is just to practice. Just give it information and see what it gives you back and tweak that information over time and just figuring out after going back and forth what information works and doesn't work with it. But some tips I have for you for getting started with prompting is to number one, there are a couple of different ways that you can prompt. You can prompt with questions like asking it specifically for feedback on information. But my favorite way to use ChatGPT is by prompting it by telling it to do something. So instead of asking it a question, I usually tell it, hey, use this information that I'm giving you to give me this specific type of output. So for example, one of the first things I did with ChatGPT is I used it to create a morning and evening routine that would help me to be more productive in the rest of my day. And I gave it tons of information about myself and told it using scientifically proven data, give me a morning routine that includes all of the stuff that would be good for someone like me. Another way that I have seen to be really effective is to tell ChatGPT to ask you questions that it needs for performing specific tasks. So there are a lot of people using ChatGPT for their businesses and for business creation. And you can actually use ChatGPT to tell it, hey, ask me all of the questions that you need to ask me to get information about my business and what we are doing and the brand so that you can then create better content or better advice for what we are doing with this business. The next piece of advice that I would give you is to be extremely direct with ChatGPT. Don't make the mistake I did when I was first getting started. I was really beating around the bush and being super polite with it because it does 
feel like very natural conversation a lot of the time, but it's just artificial intelligence. It's not a real human being and you don't have to worry about offending it or hurting its feelings by being super direct and even a little bossy to tell it what you want. Going along with that, something I'd already touched on is to be extremely descriptive. The more information that you give it, the better the quality of the response you're going to get from ChatGPT. So going back to the example I gave you of creating those routines for myself, I gave it information about my age, my race, what kind of job I worked, what my current kind of routine looked like, and I gave it specifically what kind of outcome I wanted out of my routines. I wanted personally a routine that was going to help me to kickstart my productivity for the day, whereas someone else might want a routine that helps helps them to relax and recharge before they get started into the stressful part of their day. Whatever information you want, whatever kind of output you want, be direct about it and then be very descriptive about it. Now, before we dig into those other tips, I wanted to mention how important it is to protect yourself online when you are experimenting with new technology and apps like ChatGPT. Especially if you are using this for your business, it's so important to keep your information protected online. And one way to do that is through NordPass Business. With NordPass Business, you can have all of your credentials and sensitive information secured in one place, making it super easy to share across the board with your team and other departments. You can access your account seamlessly where it will automatically populate your username and passwords. What's also great is that you can have an unlimited number of payment details saved in NordPass to give you a way to securely share that information with teammates or other members of your company. It also helps you to eliminate the amount of sensitive information you are sending through email and DM on public channels that are not secure secure because everything is in one place and easily accessible to anyone on your team. You can see NordPass Business in action right now with a three month free trial using the link in the description of this video and with the code that I'm sharing with you right now. The next thing that you should be doing, and this is going to be really important knowledge moving forward as you use ChatGPT, you should always start a new chat when you are starting a new topic. So the reason for that is actually very important for the accuracy of the data that you're going to receive back from ChatGPT. When you start a new chat, it's actually learning from you as you give it information and prompt it. But when you use the same chat and are often switching topics and going back and forth, you give it more opportunity to give you inaccurate information and it just starts acting a little wonky. Keeping new chats for new topics will help you to keep the data that you're giving it clean and it will help it to stay focused. In a weird way, we're like that as humans. When we have to context switch a lot, it makes it a lot harder for us to accomplish anything in our work. But when we are focused on a task and able to narrow in on a specialized task, we're able to have a better outcome at the work that we're doing. And ChatGPT is the exact same way. And what's great is that with ChatGPT, you can name them anything that you want. And I actually name mine based on that topic. I keep it going and I just keep them organized and name them so that they're easy to find later on. The next thing with ChatGPT is honestly just to have fun with it. If you're using the free version, you might have a limit on how much time or how many messages that you can give to ChatGPT. If you pay for it and you're using ChatGPT 4, there's also a limit on how many messages you can give it in a certain time frame. But I would say really try to max it out. When you have time to use ChatGPT, experiment with it, go back and forth with it and have fun. To recap, we are going to practice our prompting. We're going to be super direct and give it tons of descriptive information. We're going to use separate chats for separate topics, and we're going to be conversational and really just go back and forth and have fun 
with ChatGPT. And if you use those five tips, I think that you will have the foundation that you need to become an expert at using ChatGPT for your specific career field or life goals that you're using it for. Don't forget to check out NordPass and get that three month free trial for NordPass business using the link in the description and my code right here. As always, I love you, I am rooting for you, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Peace.